Welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Please click subscribe and like. This is a review of the Drill Doctor 750X. I had a great comment from Joe. Thank you. He said, your close-ups aren't in focus and they're not very well centered. I tried to improve on that. So today it's a Drill Doctor 750X up close and in focus each step of the way 118 degree bits 135 split point bits and masonry bits as well as all the differences between this and its previous 750 SP uh, drill bit sharpener made by Derricks. This is what comes in the box. Here's the box. It comes with the bag, the sharpener, a user's guide uh, and registration. This is a spark arrester that goes in the back which also can serve as a dust port for one inch dust vacuum. This wrench which is useful in taking uh, the sharpening stone out, reversing it or replacing it, and then this chuck. The first improvement of this drill bit sharpener is that the chuck handles bits from 3 30 seconds to 3 quarters. Previously the small chuck with the 750 SP went from 3 quarters, sorry, 3 30 seconds to half and then you needed a second chuck to go from a half to 3 quarters. This chuck does it all which is great. This also has a really nice ability here to see the bit as it's lined up and oriented properly for its sharpening. Also, it has this which is known as an MTO, material takeoff. If you've got a, a bit that's really pretty sharp but you just want to tune it up, you can reduce this to take off less material of your drill bit. Or if you have one that's chipped or really worn, you can increase this takes off more material, will sharpen a damaged or a re really dull bit. This area is the port to do, a, do the split of the uh, split drill bits. It also is a dust extraction port that fits a one inch uh, dust, dust collector tube or this spark arrester can go into here which is going to reduce the fire danger uh, if, if there's any sparking. Here are some other modifications that I did. I used a Sharpie to reinforce the marks of the MTO plus minus which way you would turn it. I highlighted the 118 and 135 degree markings because they're not very visible unless you highlight those and I did that with the Sharpie. In addition, this is a very important point because at 118 degrees, and you can see I marked it here, this is where the 118 degree bits need to be lined up. And just to the right of it is where the 135 degree bits need to be lined up. And I'll show you how that works. One other nice thing is this clear box that allows you to see the sharpening wheel. And it's very easy to take off. You can just move this out of the way. And this is where the wrench fits to loosen that screw which will allow you to flip that diamond wheel or replace it so the screw fits really nicely right in that area here and then you use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen that screw either flip this diamond wheel because usually when you're sharpening it only sharpens on half of it so you got twice the life or replace it even though the markings show 118 and 135, you can actually sharpen from 115 all the way up to 140 degrees for special applications. I think it's highly unlikely I'll ever do that. I'm going to probably use only the 118 and the 135, but if you have a special need, you can do this because this is, this is very adjustable, uh, which is another nice feature. I also marked these marks on the end of the chuck this is where you align the cutting edge of the masonry bit for cutting. And I also highlighted these wings on each side that fit into this slot. Either 118 for the 118 degree bits or one over to the, to the right under the minus for the 135 bits. The very first step in sharpening a drill bit is to determine its angle. If you're uncertain, you can purchase an angle gauge like this and I'll show you that this 118 degree bit fits that angle really perfectly. Let's zoom in on that. And this is drill bit and you can see that it really 
ends up lining it up with that quite well. So this is a 118 degree drill bit. That's the one we're going to sharpen first. 118 degree drill bits are considered standard bits and they're good for a variety of materials. Mild steel, wood, plastic, things such as that nature. But you'll notice that in the very tip it is not a point. It is known as a chisel point. Whereas the split bit or the 135 is a dual grind drill bit that has an absolute point so that when you're drilling metal it won't wander. But if you're using the split point to drill metal, you're going to find that it wanders or moves around. That's why you need to have a center punch or a dimple in the material before you drill with a standard bit. This is a standard drill bit and you can see that it has that chisel point. It doesn't have a perfect point. It actually has a straight line in the very center of the bit. That's known as the chisel point. We'll compare that to a split tip in a second. This is a split point drill bit and you can see that it has a grind here and a grind here that creates a single point. And as you, I spin it around you can see the two grinds, first grind here, second grind here, and a, and a, and a single point. That's a split tip bit. bit. These are for uh, primarily for steel uh, and they're a more high quality, harder, hardened bit. Uh, for more difficult materials. So we have a 118 degree bit here. It's a black oxide bit and we'll be able to see the grind because the tip of this is all, well first of all the bit is all black and we'll be able to see that. So I have it loosely in the chuck and I'm going to line up this this uh, arm after I open these prawls exactly with the 118 and then you can see the pawls actually grab the bit and put it in exactly the proper orientation for grinding and we look look at that through here then tighten it snugly release it and then further hand tighten it so we can sharpen it again now we're certain we're going to set it to 118 tighten it up and we're going to start sharpening the sharpening process is a gentle pressure on this pin right at the top this pin here and we'll spin this around and there's a cam action that moves it back and forth over the stone and you're going to hear a lot of grinding and then a little bit less and a little bit less and that's when you know you're in pretty good shape so let's fire it up and here we go getting a little bit less and a little bit less. Let's take a look at that. Okay, that's really good. Okay, you can see the grind marks as I rotate this bit. The cutting edge is perfectly clean but there's a little of the black oxide I have in ground. That doesn't matter because that's that that's uh, not a, not as high as the grind. So you can ignore that. Look, this grind edge, perfectly sharpened. So this bit is this bit is sharpened. This is this is good to go. But notice again, the chisel point, not an individual true point, but a chisel point, which is typical for 118 degree standard bits. So that bit is sharp. We can sharpen titanium coated drill bits. It's not pure titanium, it's only a coating. The titanium is important right at the cutting edge and in the flutes where it helps with chip ejection. So again, this bit is loosely held in the chuck. We're going to line up this tab with the 118 degree, open the pawls, let it fit in there, be sure that the, the bit is all the way against that nut or that bolt, and then these pawls will grab the tip orient it properly, tighten it just a little bit, and then really tighten it, and then let's start sharpening.
Let's take a look at that. Nope, it's not quite enough. So we're going to reset the bit at 118, advance it. We're going to take off a little more material. Not quite. Yes, you'll notice that it's silver because the titanium has been ground, out, ground off, but not at the cutting edge. Right at the cutting edge is where the action is. And you can see the chisel point the grind is, has removed the titanium dioxide there, but not at the cutting edge. That's really right at the edge is where the sharpness is. That's where all the cutting is done, and that's where the titanium coating uh, protects that steel and allows for a, a better cut because it's very hard. Uh, and there is a properly sharpened standard drill bit titanium coated. Okay, to sharpen a split point drill bit, first of all, it's 135 degrees. So we need to reset this to 135, loosen this and set it. And then, let's do a close-up here. I'll show you exactly where it needs to line up with this indicator before you uh, hook it into the prowls because it's not the same as 118, it's one over to the right. So we're going to turn it on and sharpen it. And you can hear the grind sound get a little bit less, a little bit less. So it's almost nothing. Yeah, that's a, that's a good sharpening. Let's look at that. Okay, so you can see the nice perfect shining surface here of this bit but now that we've sharpened it we have a chisel point we don't want that we want a point uh, and we're going to have to do this back grind now or split the point as it's called so let's do that next so we've sharpened the bit here and without changing the bit at all move over to the split splitting point and we're going to line up this mark with this indentation right here just like this and we're going to literally just plunge it in a number of times on each side and then rotate it just gently we'll flip it okay so we've sharpened the bit here and then we've split the bit here by pushing it in, and we'll just do it again for just a second. Equal number on each side. And we'll get a close-up of that bit. I think it's pretty nicely split. So we have now sharpened the split point bit. And what you can see is the here are the primary grind the sharpening grind and then that secondary grind which splits the tip it actually takes part of that chisel point off again primary grind sharpening secondary grind here splitting the tip giving a true tip a point on the end of those drill bits let's sharpen some masonry drill bits I've had these for a long time this one actually looks pretty worn so we're going to fit this in the chuck, but we're going to line up the carbide cutting edge of this with these marks I've made. We'll take a look at that. Scenery drill bit. We need to line up these carbide edges with these marks that I've highlighted here. And we need it to extend from the drill bit 
between a half and five eighths of an inch. So we've lined up the bit with these indicators and we've we have it about a half to five eighths inch out, outside the bit, outside of the chuck. And then we'll just, with this indicator toward this pin, just gently push it down and it slides back and then tighten it when we're sure we've got those carbide inserts lined up just right, then tighten it. And then we're going to sharpen it by plunging it, keeping this indicator aligned with this pin. Wow, that did it already. That's great. So we'll take a close up look at this. So you can see this masonry bit is very nicely sharpened with the cutting edge glistening here. See that? And then this one is this side as well. Very nicely sharpened the entire length of the of the carbide insert. So that bit is good to go again for quite a few years. Well, I'm very pleased with this drilled bit sharpener, this Drill Doctor 750X by Derex. It works better than the other one that I have, which works great, by the way, the 750 SP. I think this is going to be wonderful. I'm going to be using it in my machine shop to sharpen everything from 3 seconds to 3 quarters. Standard bits, but more commonly split bits. And also, if I'm using masonry bits, I can sharpen those as well. So this is something to consider. It's a very good product. Made in Oregon. There are some foreign parts with it, but it's a USA company. Um, I paid full price for this, $139. You might be able to get it for less, but I think it's really worth it. Uh, they have great support too, because I had an issue with one of my chucks. They sent me a brand new one, no problem. And uh, they were very nice and they uh, returned my call the next day. So uh, Drill Doctor, good group, good company. And uh, this is a very good product. Consider subscribing and liking Adventures with Dr. Joe. Thank you very much.